Hello everyone, today we are going to look at the 2018 Structure and Bonding Examination Paper. Now I thought I covered this particular exam already, but it turned out thanks to a, um, a comment of my previous video pointed out that I it wasn't the right paper. Um, apologies because I do record these quite late in the day and I'm definitely not a night person. My brain kind of shuts off after 11 p.m. Um, so this is kind of like a re-upload. So we are I double checked, triple checked. Um, these are the correct questions. So we are going to quickly go through these again. Um, these, so again, 2.4, question one, question by question. And this is question one. And I will be pushing out more learning videos in the near future because the exams is in what, a couple weeks, two, three weeks. Um, and once the exams are finished, I'll, you know, I'll, I think a lot of people do enjoy watching me game. Um, so once you're all done with the learning and I'll start pumping out some game videos until next year and then we'll see, well, we'll see where that takes us, um, takes us. Okay. So let's have a look. So the first thing first, we are going to look at the first question. Um, as you can see, I kind of already highlighted this uh, because collect the term that best describes this reaction. This is the endothermic reaction. Why is it endothermic? Because the delta H is a positive number. Okay, as easy as that. Next one, respiration is energy. It's a process which energy is released straight away. They even said it, energy is released. Therefore, it's exothermic because why? Because you said it, energy is released. Okay, nice and easy. Next one, let's move on. Now, what, uh, what, what? Water formed um, in the respiration reaction evaporates, so you're going from liquid to gas. Explain whether this reaction is this process endothermic or exothermic. So you're going from liquid, you have a, you have a state change from liquid to gas. So you're going from particles or molecules which are quite close to each other to gas which are really far away from each other. So this must be an endothermic reaction without a doubt. It must be endothermic because you need to absorb energy. Energy must be absorbed because when you're going from a solid to liquid or liquid to gas or solid to gas, energy must be absorbed to overcome the intermolecular forces. Intermolecular forces between the H2O particles or H2O molecules. Okay, it would be inappropriate to say break the bonds between the water molecules because if you know it's a water, it's a molecular, um, substance then you are breaking the intermolecular force okay so um, because you kind of like I mentioned this example before just imagine your chemistry class you and your neighbors and um, the person that you sit next to you are a molecule and the person you're sitting next to is a molecule if we were to break the connection between you two we just separate you away from the other molecules so we overcome the intermolecular forces we don't break you okay so that's pretty straightforward i hope that's more one now butane is used to fuel a, um, a camping stove um, and uh, blah 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 explaining how the diagram shows the enthalpy change is negative um, because you look at here this is the enthalpy of the products this is the enthalpy of reactants your enthalpy of how do we calculate change of enthalpy change of enthalpy is the um, enthalpy of products minus the enthalpy of reactant and as you can clearly see that the enthalpy of products is much less the um, the, the enthalpy of product is much less than the enthalpy of the reactants therefore the change of enthalpy will be negative and energy is being released okay I'm not sure if I got the answers now here there we go um, because the total energy is less, total in the reactant, change of enthalpy is um, da -da -da, change is negative because it decreases, um, so energy is released. Okay, very straightforward. I feel these questions are right. Let's move on. Now this is a calculation question. Have I got a calculator? Yes, I do. Yes, it's charge. Let's go. All right. 
page and show you how I do this question. All right, so I'm not gonna. So this equation is your go-to thing. You must refer to the equation. The important part is the fuel calendar contains 400 grams of butane gas. Okay, so that's important. Just bear in mind, in chemistry, every number we give you needs to be used. This is a molar mass for butane. This is, and then we gave you the, the mass of butane. You can figure out the moles straight away. Okay, but what are we trying to figure out? We're trying to calculate the energy release when the mass of butane gas, uh, the butane gas is completely burned in oxygen. So that means I only need to look at this number. I need to look at. I highlighted. Now, this is the thing. There's no point looking at these other reactants or products. I mean, if you do Cambridge, you do need to look at them in a certain way. But in CA, I just train my students. Look at what the question asks you to do. Mass of butane gas, which is this thing right there. Therefore, I just highlight that. And I, before I even do anything, I just ask them to write this down. Just copy everything down. So 2 moles of C4H10 is 5760 kilojoules. Yeah, because I'm just copying numbers. That means one more of C4H10 is 5760 divided by 2, which is going to be. Now, I don't want to make stupid mistakes. Normally, I can just do this in my head, but I'm recording this quite late at night again, so I don't want to make stupid mistakes. Um, so 288, um, 288, 80 kilojoules. Okay, so one mole. This, this thing in between, this is mole. All right, so how many moles do I have? So I know one mole of C4H10 gives me that much energy. I can figure out how many moles I have. I know the mass, which is 450 grams. I know the molar mass, which is 58 grams per mole. Therefore, I can figure out how many moles I have, which is 450 divided by 58, which gives me, uh, Hopefully yeah, that's right, 7.76 moles. Round to 3SF, please. Okay, so I have 7.76 moles. One mole is 2AAD. I have 7.76 moles. How much energy did I release? Just 7.76 times 2AAD. Make sure you use the entire number in your calculator, not just two, not, not just 7 point, um, Seven, seven, six. I'm using the entirety of the number that I have in my calculator. Then I will get two, two, three, four, four point eight. If I round to three significant figures, this will be two point two three times ten to the power uh, times ten to the power four kilojoules. If you don't like this particular write-up, you can just do two, two, three, o, oh, o. Oh, kilojoules which is the same thing okay so both numbers uh, both answers are um, acceptable but you need to round to three if and you need to have units okay very straightforward um, next one now when you see questions like these guys um, when you see questions that gives you a table like these this is when you need to use um, this equation of the change of enthalpy is the total of bonds breaking um, bonds breaking. Oops, I forgot the H. And the total enthalpy of bonds breaking minus the enthalpy, total enthalpy of bonds making. Okay, so that means the left hand side is breaking. You have to break these things first, and then you have to make these things on the right hand side. So the best way to do this is to rewrite the equation using the Lewis diagram, except you don't need to worry about the valence electrons. But you need to be able to draw them. You need to show the bonds. So what do we need to break? If we need to break this, we need to break one triple N. We need to break three HHs which is one times nine, four, five, which is just nine, four, five, three times four, three, six. So these two numbers added together, just add them together on your calculator, which is going to be three times three, two, two, five, three. This is how much, this is the total of bonds breaking, which is that thing there. And how, what is the bonds making? Bonds making. How many bonds did I make? 
I need to make so in each in each ammonia in each NH3 I have three NH bonds so but I have two ammonias therefore I have six NH bonds and then if you look at the question we're trying to calculate the enthalpy of NH so we don't know what NH bond is so we can make the 6x okay so let's go back to the equation what is the change of enthalpy the change of enthalpy is given in the equation so that will be negative 92 equals 2253 I'm just substituting numbers minus 6x rearrange 6x equals 2253 plus 92 and that will give me 2345 kilojoules and what is x? x equals 2345 two, divided by 6 and that will give you 391 kilojoules per mole make sure you have the rounding to 3SF as well as the correct unit okay so this is a slight variation of the normal bond enthalpy questions but it's pretty standard questions um, all around um, so like as always hopefully you found this um, video helpful and you probably noticed um, I do um, just a bit of a um, irrelevant thing I do I never knew how to edit stuff so my if you watch my among this videos I think the latest one I actually spent quite a bit of time editing but with the learning videos I'm sure you not you guys are not here for the editing so I'm, I'm just gonna pump these out as quickly as I can um, so um, just bear with me if I do make mistakes and things like that point them out in the comment section I will attend to them um, otherwise I'll be recording question two now all right I'll see you guys next time bye bye